hello welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to be talking about how to study in france in english for international students and this is the campus france slash etude en france edition how to navigate the etude en france website how to apply to universities how to find your universities and a lot of things i got a pdf from campus france nigeria and this pdf is simply to show you how to study in france and also how to apply to your courses on the etude en france website so if you know you want to as an international student you want to study in france and you don't know where to start just follow this video do you know that the number of international students in france grew by eight percent in 2021 to 2022 and it is the strongest growth recorded in more than 15 and this is due to the increase in the number of european students by 21 percent and exchange student by 46 percent wondering why to study in france we have affordable tuition student support internship work study it's called atenos an attractive destination for international students opportunities to learn the language and becoming fluent in french prestigious universities the success of french innovation and also and most importantly english taught programs starting with the, applying with the platform etude en france the etude en france platform is completely dematerialized and manages all of the enrollment procedures for an institute of higher education up onto visa request make sure to go to the etude en france website and right now i'm going to show you how to go there but first so i'm going to copy and paste this link right here okay it didn't work so it's better to just type on your browser etude en france now we have that you are going to find a lot of link advert from google so it's always better to search for the right uh, url so this is the right url so click on this and here we go this is the platform so now that we are on the website is either you sign up which is registering or you sign in to log in like i said you can always change the language here click on french if you want it to be in french if you want it to be in english you click there and let's go scroll down so note that you don't have to register before you can start finding your program. You can just go here and click on this link, click there and look for your program. It's always good to choose all other training. So you have more search results. So let's say we are looking for a particular school. So you can see, you can search for your program here taught in english programs so if you are looking for like a bachelor know that lessons is bachelor in france they have lessons one two and three and master one and two so you click on that i'm going to look for my course the course that i did is bachelor's in management this was the program i did and this is to show you the here like this program is lessons lessons three so this was the program i did in university of Auvergne. so you can pick you can now you have to choose your school uh, the name of the school was E.R.O. Clermont Oven School of Management. It wasn't the university, but E.R.O. So education, D.E. Lessons are As you can see, training closed by the, the establishment. So this training has been closed, so you can't go for this training. But if this one is open, you can select. And when you select, you see the link to the program. So you click on the link, and then you have all the info you need about this program. It's a bachelor's degree in law, which is lessons 3. So the entry level is year 3, bar plus 3, which is lessons 3. And the establishment, the city, and training offered by an establishment labeled Welcome to France. This is important when choosing a school. Whenever you see this, they are in partnership with Campus France. Institution connected to studies in France application. So they are connected on this program, on this platform, excuse me. The price of the training the language so everything you need to know is here the application deadline everything so this is to find uh your program so now let's go back to the pdf so this is another point it is always recommended to use um, firefox browser or uh, google chrome it's important and you will need several documents like your international passport, your degree certificate and transcript, your high school diploma. This is for Nigerians. For other countries, you need to find out from your campus France. I believe every country has campus France. So is it a campus France Nigeria, campus France United States, campus France US, campus France South Africa, campus France Kenya and all of that. Um, Note that you must purchase a pin and fill it out as described on slide 27 to enable us to verify your work on echo result. 
it is very important to buy your pin those that have wire or neko so it's important to buy the pin to verify to be able to verify your result or can echo result uh, during my time i didn't need to purchase any pin so i just uploaded my wire result and that was it and you need your cv your motivation letter or personal statement they are kind of the same thing it's just you showing your motivation why you want to study the program why are you moving to france why did you choose france those kind of things and for the motivation letter and personal statement uh some persons have asked me to make <laughs> this motivation letter and personal statement for them and I just think it would be nice to teach you how to write your motivation letter by yourself using Canva and ChatGPT. So I'm going to make another video and sh uh, to show you how to to show you how to um, make your motivation uh, letter and personal statement. The easiest net level welcome to France. This is important when choosing a school. Whenever you see this, they are in partnership with Campus France. <laughs> institution connected to studies in France application. So they are connected on this program, on this platform, excuse me. The price of the training, the language. So everything you need to know is here. The application deadline, everything. So this is to find uh, your program. So now let's go back to the PDF. So this is another point. It is always recommended to use um, Firefox browser or uh, Google Chrome. It's important. And you will need several documents like your international passport, your degree certificate and transcript, your high school diploma. This is for Nigerians. For other countries, you need to find out from your campus France. I believe every country has campus France. So is it a campus France Nigeria, campus France United States, campus France US, campus France South Africa, campus France Kenya and all of that. Um, note that you must purchase a pin and fill it out as described on slide 27 to enable us to verify your WIAC or NECO result. It is very important to buy your pin, those that have WIAC or NECO, so it's important to buy the pin to verify, to be able to verify your result, WIAC and NECO result. Uh, during my time, I didn't need to purchase any pin, so I just uploaded my WIAC result and that was it. And you need your CV, your motivation letter or personal statement. They are kind of the same thing. It's just you showing your motivation, why you want to study the program, why are you moving to France, why did you choose France, those kind of things. And for the motivation letter and personal statement, uh, some persons have asked me to make <laughs> this motivation letter and personal statement for them. And I just think it would be nice to teach you how to write your motivation letter by yourself using Canva and ChatGPT. So I'm going to make another video and sh uh, to show you how to, to show you how to, uh, make your motivation uh, letter and personal statement the easiest thing so make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification button so you can get a uh, notification when i post the videos so for the language proficiency uh if english the program you are choosing is taught in english uh you don't need to show french uh, language proficiency and if your program is in French, you have to show like B from B1, B2, depending on the certification the school is requiring. So it is always important to check out the program uh, requirements to know which and what document to uh, submit. Now we have the uh, reference letters. You only have to provide a reference letter if your school or your program asks for it. And also for the scholarship letter, this is just for students that have gotten scholarship to study in France. So if you have your um, scholarship letter, you can always add it to your application. But if you don't have a, certificate, um, a scholarship letter, you don't need to um, use it. So once you submit your file, you have to wait at least five working days for your file to be reviewed by a campus France officer. So this are all the points you need to start with. Next is the Etude en France calendar. This is another important thing to take note of. It's very important. This will help you to know when to apply to schools, know the deadlines and stuff like that. And this calendar I'm using today is the calendar for 2023 slash 2024 bachelor's program, programs taught in French and in English. This is for bachelor's program, not the master's. Bachelor's program, programs taught in French and in English. So this is just a summary of the first year of your undergraduate program. There are some schools that are connected to the Etude en France platform, but these schools also require you to apply directly through their website. So this is another thing to note. But always make sure to read the requirement and the admission requirement to know what and what to do. For postgraduate uh, programs, which is the Master 1 and Master 2, in France we have M1, M2, but this is not the case for Nigeria. 
like in Nigeria, we have like four years of academic degree, and so it depends four years, five years, seven years. It depends on the program you are choosing. But in France, all their bachelor's degree is um, three years, so that is why they have master one and master two. Like me, I did um, uh, three years of my bachelor's degree. I actually did two years in Nigeria, and then did the last year here in France at um, Clermont Ferrand. So to apply to courses taught in in English, usually no English test is require, uh, required unless specifically requested by the school. So it always depends on what the school is asking you to give them for your for your admission purposes. But to apply to a program taught in French, you need to have a B2, DELF B2 or C1. It also depends on what the school is requiring. And you can select up to seven programs, up to seven universities to apply to. This is to increase your chance of being accepted. As for the motivation and data, it goes the same with the bachelor's program. So now I'm going to show you how to apply. What you need to do is to start uh, the, the Campus France Nigeria application procedure. This is the Campus France Nigeria. For, all, uh, for other countries, you have to check your uh, Campus France uh, application procedure. This is important to check to not make any mistake, but you can also use this video as a guide to help you with your application. So I've shown you how to start with the website. So we've already gone on the website. Let me go back to the website and show you again for those of you that may be lost. <laughs> so now that we are on the website, all you just need to do is to click here to sign in if you already have an account. But if you don't have an account, you have to click on uh, sign up to register. So I've already created an account, so I'm just going to click there. And this is the, you have to input your email address and your password and then click connection. Like I told you before this video, so sometimes the website does not work because you are working on the website. Note that the problem is coming from the YouTube of France platform, so it's always advisable to let me go back to the link and try and try and try when it's back. But I'm going to make another video to show you again. For now, we will just use the PDF. Like I said, it's always important to change the language. This is currently in French, so je m'inscris means like to sign up and uh, je me connect, you have to connect like log in create your etude of france account so to create your etude of france account you have to select english we already showed you how to select the language once you click on join screen you have to pick the campus france of your country in this case it's for nigeria but you can choose for campus france for india Indo indonesia iran and israel depending on the country you are from next you have to register and fill in the required information. We've already picked for Campus France, which is Nigeria. Your email address, confirm your last name, so on and so forth. And then you have to fill out this form carefully, your date of, um, the number of your ID, the expiration date, passport number, and uh, the country of issue of your passport. Then you click on I accept and create your account. Now you have to check your inbox and activate your account. Next, you have to log in and you know, create your password. You have to type your password and confirm your name, confirm the creation of your account. And now you can log into your Tudor France platform by clicking um, log in. Next, you are going to see the screen. You click on I wish to apply. So once you click on I wish to apply, you fill out the application. You have to click on personal information. It's currently incomplete until it is completed before you will see like the green button there, the green complete there. So now you have to upload your uh, ID your uh, picture already. You have your this is your Etude en France ident identification number, for example. Um, when you create your account, automatically you have like your personal Etude en France identification number. It always starts with NG and the year you you created the account and your contact. Upload your international passport by clicking supporting documents. And then you complete your contact information, your address, for example, your city, your phone number, your area code. So if you don't know your area code, always go online and like go on Google and then search for your for your area code or postal code. Yeah, you have to indicate that you have your scholar like you have a scholarship. That is if you have a scholarship. But if you don't have a scholarship, you just click my situation does not apply 
and to upload your scholarship letter you have to click on modify then upload your cv or your resume note that the document must be in pdf format and must not be more than 300 gigabytes so now that you've uploaded your uh, cv but if you wish to change that you can click on delete to delete it now to fill your educational background certificate and letters of recommendation you have to click you have to have to review the drop down menu and select entry you wish to fill note that you will need to create a different entry for high school bachelor's degree master's degree and so on so once you click hard once you click hard then you have this drop down menu and then you click the um, document you want to upload let's say for example for a high school diploma or equivalent like for nigerians this is the work on your code so you click on it and then upload your work on your code uh, results or certificates so once you now that you pick this option you have to fill in the required information and then you have to click on uh, modify to change the to change or upload your required document and also you can click on supporting document to add more note that when you are uploading your uh, high school diploma you have to uh, put in the average score your major and also on the comments on the comments you have to put in your pin your right or your uh, pin for the french language proficiency you have to upload documents if you are taking a french proficiency test or leave it on field if you haven't taken any test to do that you have to click on add a test ecf for example for delf and app it's either you choose this option if your certificate is that uh, delf or that so when you click on this you will be able to input the information it is important to note uh, your level in french if part or all your education was in french you can click this uh, this uh, place and you have the drop down menu to either say yes or no if parts like a part of your education was in french you can choose yes if not you choose no if you have studied french you have to select the option studying french means like taking a program in uh, alliance Francaise or other french um, schools or just to study french know that your studies were in french so on this page you have to uh, fill in the details of your stay in france for example if you uh, stayed in france for more than three months you have to click hard and be able to you have to click hard like you stayed in france but if not you are going to leave that place blank and and also for your uh, language proficiency if english is your first language you can put english is your first language if not you have to look for your first language and make sure you put it there and for other spoken languages you have to choose other languages that you know how to speak for example or other language proficiency on this page you have to put in your first language if not you have to modify and look for your language and if you have supporting documents you can upload your death certificates here to show that for example if you were born in an english speaking country you can upload your death certificate there or if you did all your uh, studies in english you can just put don't forget to add as many languages you know how to speak but if you cannot find your language then you can just leave it next is filling out the program card so in this case you have to click uh, on the on this link rules for the constitution of the program card when you've read that then you can come back to add a program when you add now we are going i'm going to show you how to add a program to your card once you click on add a program you have this page what you need to do is to click on all other programs and then once you click on all other pro uh, programs this is to give you uh, more search results but if you want to specify your search you can click here and you just click the search icon and then you search for your key you search for your keywords for example you can search for a university can move on like i did before but to show you this page again you need to go back to chrome looking for your language course choose this you can finally find your program here and that's it you search for example these are general programs these programs might be taught in french but you can always check but you can scroll down to see taught in english 
or if you want to study French as a foreign language, you can just find your program here, like preparation for higher education, university diploma in French studies. You see, if you are looking for a very um, specialized French language to learn, you can. If you, you are in chemistry, you can prepare for your management. If you are in information and communication, computer science, mathematics, physics, and the other field, you can select. But if you want to do like a general French, you can click this the first part. As for bachelor's program, you can click on results and then search for your field. For example, me, I did bachelor's in management, so I click on this. I click on that, get more information. The first program is closed. The second one, you can click on select. And when you click on select, you click on the link and you have all the details of the program. For more info about the program, I always go to the uh, school website to get all the info you need but for easy communication you can just copy their email address and send a message so that's it for finding your program like i said if you want to select more options you can click on more more options or less options depending you have to turn this button on in your catalog you can click this that or it's better for you to so going back, for example, you need more options, like you want to just search for a specific program, you can click on more option in the catalog. It's always good. You can always click here to read the details about all these things. So click here. For example, if you're looking for a general program, you can click here. If you're looking for that in English, click here. If you're looking for French as a foreign language, you can click here. Let's click on that in English. And then off side bachelor's you can see the options here you can pick so let's say for example bachelor your domain you can pick your domain my domain was in management so subdomain marketing or management region my region was over run out department was pretty down and the city was Clampion, so you click on search and then no training was returned by search. This is why I said it's just important to like click on all other training to get more like for easier search because this search does not work properly. Click. So here keep reviewing until you find your preferred institution then click select. You know ensure you choose only programs taught in English if you do not meet the minimum French uh, language uh, proficiency of teaching. Note that you should select only programs starting from year one if you do not already have a master's degree. If you have not done your bachelor's, then you have to pick. You have to pick year one, year two, which is uh, your the first year of bachelor's degree, the second year. So you are going to see the third year like the one I did. And you have to, once you click on this, once you click on select, you're going to have this. Then you are going to click on this link to find out more details about the school. If not, you can just add, you can just click add selected program to cart. Writing your personal statement, you have to click. You have to review the programs you have chosen like carefully then proceed to write a personal statement for each selection here we have one program we have the second so you must click here to write your personal statement and for the other you must click here to write your personal statement make sure they are not you are not copying and pasting this uh, personal statement you have to write different things because you are going to be showing your motivations in different ways these are like important tips it is important to apply to up to three schools or three programs for bachelors and for masters it is advisable to like apply to up to seven schools but if you've already gotten admission like after applying to one or two schools then you can stop right there you don't need to start applying more because the application fee some of them are expensive schools might ask you to pay an application fee for of uh, 50 euros 100 euros even 600 euros i've seen some schools like uh, university catholic de Lyon for their uh, french as a foreign language courses you have to the application fee is 600 
and pity him. So you can even win the school. So you don't want to waste money and be applying to so many schools. It is better to apply to one school and make sure your application is correct. For example, your CV, your motivation letter or personal statement are very solid. If reference letters, for example, and also your uh, documents, for example, your certificate, you have to be strong. And make sure to know the requirements from the school so you, you are not just applying, you know, just like that. Make sure to know what your school is looking for, to know what and what to submit for your application. Once you are done filling out your uh, program cards, then you have to submit your application. Yeah, you just click here, submit the file to Campus Bank Nigeria, and that's it. And you click I hear bank certify that the above statement and true, blah, 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 and then submit. Check your file uh, regularly on the platform to ensure and to know if uh, it has been accepted or if you have been asked to make corrections. And after your file has been validated, an email will be sent to you to make payment for the campus bank's fee. And once your payment has been validated, you'll be authorized to book an appointment with um, the campus bank's for pre-admission interview. Talking about the pre-admission interview, this is an interview you are going to have with a campus bank officer. They are just going to ask you about your uh, program and why would you like to, why are you choosing France like as your study destination and stuff like that. So make sure to check out the next video because I will be showing you the list of questions and how to prepare for your pre-admission interview. So we'll be treating these questions and how to apply. This is just um, an interview. You don't have to be scared. It is an interview about most of the things you already know. For example, your program, why are you choosing the program and why are you choosing France? That's simply what it is. You don't have to be scared. I know there is a first time for everything, but it's good to prepare yourself for this interview. And after this interview, Campus France will send like the review of your application to the school. And some schools can ask you for a video interview or for a recorded interview. This is coming directly from the school and not for Campus France. So it is important to check your admission requirements. So after the interview, you should start checking for March. Uh, you have to be checking on the Institute of Loans website or your email to make sure that you you are staying up to date with your um, admission uh, results and stuff so always check so you don't miss out make sure you start checking for march or before march so it is important for you to like be checking your instead of funds platform all the time to make sure you are not missing anything so this is the end of our video note that this video is just to show you how to get started with your application and for more detailed explanation on how to apply um, to your school directly on their website and videos like that just check out my other videos and you will see the videos i've made concerning uh, your studies in france your studies abroad thank you for watching and i'll see you next time and i wish you good luck on your application ciao